Hello everyone, Aerofight here, and let's play with some command blocks, shall we? Today's tutorial about command blocks will be how to make a clock. A very simple one, and it can be as long as you want, provided you don't go over the largest number that an objective variable can be. Um, because we're going to be using the scoreboard objective stuff. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do 30 seconds and then show you how to do it longer. It's easy to change, easy to manipulate. Um, you don't have to change any of the wiring, anything like that. So pretty easy. The first thing you want to do is to actually create your scoreboard objective. And it is just a count of types. If you want to call it clock, call it what you want. I'm going to call it count. It's a of type dummy variable, right? And then the display name will be count. Oh. What I do? Objectives. I do that all the time. There we go. Now, we want... The only downside to this clock is that it doesn't work uh, if... The scoreboard stuff has to be associated with a specific person. Okay? So it doesn't work if that person is offline. So we might as well just not let the clock run if the person's offline. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Okay, so we make a clock, and it just needs to go. It really doesn't matter how fast it is, um, so make it as fast as you want, but uh, it just has to go. And it doesn't matter what clock, this whatever, do whatever you want. And we're testing to see if the person's online, so we'll just do a test for, and we'll go through all the players and look for the specific players. So in my case, it's Aerofight. Now be careful with these name variables because they have to be exactly the name. So my username is Aerofight with a capital A. If I don't, if I put this with a lowercase a in here, this will not work. Okay, so there we go. So it's checking to see if I'm online, and I am of course, so this is lit. Okay, now we're going to make a second clock using the same idea here, right? And so, as before, we do this. And we're going to put a command block here, grab the stream, and use a comparator here, and close it in the clock. And change this to three ticks. This has now become a one second clock exactly. Okay. There's probably other ways to make one second clocks, so make it however you want. But this is how I'm going to make it. Okay. Now, what this basically... What we want this to do is add one to count every one second. So basically this counts seconds, right? So we're going to do scoreboard, players, add arrow fight, count one. Adds one to count that's associated with arrow fight. Okay, and you see it going up, and I realize that's really annoying right there. So... I'm talking about these little outputs here, right here. They're really annoying. We'll mess with them in a little while. They won't happen, though, I promise, once the thing is done. Okay, so it's incrementing the count. Now, every time the count increments, we want to see if the count has reached what we want it to to do whatever, right? So that's a test for command. Test for all players. Name is equal to arrow fight. Right? And we want to see if the score of Aerofight, so the score of at a variable count, right? We want to see if its minimum value, so the value we want it to reach before something happens, is 30, we'll say. So every 30 seconds this clock will go off, is the way this one works. So it's on because now the count variable here is past 30. Let's not put that yet, though. Okay, so right here, the next one is whatever we want it to do. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to make it say something, this command block. So, 30 seconds, right? Say 30 seconds. And then the last thing that must be done for this to work is that count variable has to be reset to zero. Okay, so it's scoreboard, ooh, scoreboard, 
scoreboard. Players set, arrow fight, count zero. Okay, so when I connect this redstone signal here together, this is going to go off basically and reset it to zero. There you go, said 30 seconds. And basically we're just gonna sit here until 30 seconds and make sure that it's working correctly. But every time this count here hits 30, it will, re it will say 30 seconds and then reset the count to zero. Um, and the basic way to make this larger is if you want it to be 60 seconds, then this is 60 seconds. If you want it to be a 30 minute clock, then you have to use a little bit of math. You know there's 60 seconds in a minute, so if you multiply 60 by however many minutes that you want, so say 30 minutes, you put that here. So 60 times 30 is 1,800. So if we did 1,800 here, it would be a 30 minute clock, and so on and so forth. With however large this number can be. I honestly don't know what it is. I know it's pretty large though, so. Anyway, this is about to go off. 30 seconds, resets, voila. 30 second clock. And now, 30 minute clock. It's honestly that simple. Now if you don't want it to say something, that's perfectly cool, although you could do a broadcast message with this if you wanted to, if you're running a server yourself. Um, but say you wanted to do something else, uh, basically all you do is, um, instead of using this command block, you connect it to whatever circuit you're trying to do every 30 seconds. But remember that this one always has to be hit. If you don't reset it to zero, it's not ever going to go off again. It might go off once, but it won't go off again. So that's really up to you. Um, a few other things to say about this. If you want it to go forever, it really needs to be at spawn. Um, there's like a 33 by 33 area at spawn that's always loaded if it's on a server. And so it will always run while you're on if you have it there or whoever player that you have um, it associated with. Whenever they're on, it will always go off if you have it at spawn. If you don't have it at spawn, then it will only work while that chunk is loaded, so whenever you enter that area. right? Um, so that's the basic stipulation there, but that's really like any clock. So not too much of a difference there. I put one minute, okay. Anyway, that's basically it for the video. I lied, guys. That was not the end of the video. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, I forgot to tell you how to get rid of these messages right here. It's uh, really easy. All it is is scoreboard, or not scoreboard, I'm sorry, game rule, command block output false. And you no longer see them. It's a super easy fix, I just forgot to say it, and uh, so, and as you'll see this message here for a minute will still print out, there it is, and yeah. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked it. If you did, it'd be great if you hit that like button below, and if you really liked it, uh, you could also hit that subscribe button that should be on your screen now. Uh, Something that you could have missed is on the left you'll see a link to how to make it always day in Minecraft 1.5 using daylight sensors and command blocks and on the right you'll see a tutorial on how to make a button act like a lever in 1.5. Thanks for watching guys. Later.